Hi everybody, it's Joanne, and we are now in 2024. Um, I started YouTube 2022 in March. So, at the end of March, and at the end of March, it'll be two years. It took me two years, and I am finally, finally, I have 1,000 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, subscribers. Uh, now all I gotta do is build up my watch hours. Um, but anyway, it's been since Christmas since I've been in the painting room. Um, I apologize, I've been on and off. I've posted videos that I did in December. Um, things have just been hectic here. Um, lots going on, lots happening with me, um, lo a lot of pain. Um, this weather's killing me. Um, but anyway, I am think I'm ready to get back to it. And I've got a lot of things coming in the new year. Um, one thing, um, because I have reached a thousand this month for 1000 below group that always does a lot of premieres in order. Um, I am participating in that for the last time, except for I may be invited to come back now and then. Um, and for this month, since it's my last month, they let me choose. So keep your eyes open. Christina Welch is going to be our guest artist. And um, the technique I chose was swipes of any kind. So who knows what you're going to see. I wanted there to be a broad variety of different kinds of swipes. So I hope everybody really has a fun time with that because they can do anything they want, any colors they want, any style of swipe they want. So that's that. Um, also, I've got some bigger canvases. I've got um, some, uh, oh, I can't find my words, uh, commissions. My brother needs, he's in a new condo and his walls are bare. He wants some big canvases. So I'm definitely going to do a big one and a triptych for him. Um, so that's coming up. And I've got some ideas. I don't know if they'll work. One of them I'm going to start playing with. And if I can get it to work, I'll get it videoed real soon. Because I, I, I'm kind of excited about it. I think it'll work. And it'll be really cool. So keep your eye out for that. Now. Today, I'm just going to play, since it's been a while, I'm going to work on my blooms. And I've got a Convexo canvas. I'm out of these. I've got to go to the store. Um, but this is an old one that I didn't really care for, so I just sewed it. And this is an 11 by 14 oval. So I'm going to do some blooms on it. And then I wanted to tell you something. Um, I mixed up some paints. What was it? End of November, 1st of December. And they were all TLPs. And I used Josanya and Bear 8300. And I used, um, oh, I had a whole bag of them. What did I do with them? Oh, let me look real fast. <clears throat> Anyway, they were dollar store cups. These little dollar store cups that you can get, I think, in the party section. And they have lids and everything. I don't know if it's the cup or if it's the 8300. I'm just really starting to use the 8300 a lot. Anyhow, these have only set here for a month or a little over and um, they thickened up real quick 
and they've got goobers in them. I had to really go through these as I was stirring and putting some more um, Josonia water uh, in them to get them thinned down, and I'm really disappointed. So I went in my old pile. Anyway, here's... I just really, and there, there's still, I still haven't got all the goobers out. So anyway, I got into my old TLPs that have probably been mixed up for a year. And I believe, I'm pretty sure that I mixed these with um, Joe Sonia. And I'm pretty sure it's mix, but look. And where's a stick? I need a stick. Here's one. Stirring wise, look. They're thickened, they do need sand a little bit, but they're still mixed up, and there's no goobers in them. Yeah, there's not any. And here's another one. I was playing with this one and stirring it. That's why you see a couple big bubbles. And it's the same thing. And these are also the dollar store cups. But they're those little snucky things you get in. They're either square or round in the grocery section. So, anyhow... I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's Mix and Joe Sonia. It's possible it's Joe Sonia and one of the, um, oh, I don't have a bottle close. Liquitex, Liquitex pouring mediums. It might be one of those, but be aware I don't think it could be the cup. I mean, again, it could be, because these seal a lot tighter. But those sat for a month and got super thick and got goobers in it. These have sat for a year in a different pouring medium, and they're still pristine. So I'm gonna get those out and use them up. I've got probably Eh, 20, 15 or 20 of them. So anyway, let me get you down to the canvas and let's play. I've talked enough. So I've given you lots of hints and things to think about. So you give it a try, whatever. But anyway, let me get you down to the canvas and let's play a little bit. See you there. Okay, I think I've got you centered. Um, like I said, it's an old canvas. I just painted some gesso over it and let it dry. And uh, these convexo canvases, I don't like to let them go to waste. And the painting that was on there wasn't anything I would hang in my house. So I decided we're gonna do that one over. But anyway, I've got my base here. Um, I can't remember, but this is one of the whites. I'm not sure if it's Amsterdam or, uh, let me, it's not house paint. Um, It could be Creative Inspirations. It could be any of those. 
I am not good at remembering if I don't label it, guys. It's just something I can't, I cannot do. So, I'm gonna... Feel like I'm icing a cake with this roundness. I want to make sure everything's going to flow good. All right. I've got some cool colors to play with. And I learned something new, too. Um, if I label my cups, I put the label on my cup. Oops. I tipped it. Um, rather, I used to put them on the lid, and then I didn't know where the lid was when I went to paint, and I couldn't tell you what I, what I, uh, did. That's all right, we'll put a bloom there. Um, but anyway, that helps me to tell you what color I'm using. So there you go. All right, we'll just start with this bloom here. That was, that went down, Waterfall. These are all TLPs. You guys know I'm a TLP girl. I love my TLPs. And this is Grenache. This is Pinwheel. Let me get to a spot that doesn't have a ton of bubbles. And then, um, this is Constellation. And then, Sockeye. And then I'm going to put a little bit of Waterfall on top. Then I have some White Haven. And this is Ore, and I think I put a little bit of 24 karat gold in it. Let's put just a tad more of that. Okay. This is my white cell activator. It's Amsterdam Titanium White and Australian Floetrol. And I think I'll use my thing. And I'm using my little mini leaf blower. I'm gonna start up high and kind of spread my cell activator out. And I'm going to go for it. Oh, that's going to be pretty. Lots of pretty colors. Let's get one this way. to get these to look a little more like flowers. Oh, I don't want to mess that up. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I see now I need, before I do anything else, I need to put some paint on the sides. So 
let me do that real quick. Now, I'm gonna get my stick here, my Ceramax stick. And I'm gonna bring these in a little to make them look more like a flower. the sides look cool all right let's start another one um i started with grenache let's do this one just a little bit different in a couple ways. Let's put waterfall next. I want them to kind of have their own little character. Then some sockeye. And then some constellation. Let's put some pinwheel. And some White Haven. Let's, there we go. And then some Submarine. We need some yellow. We'll make this one look just a little bit different. And then some ore with some... I think 24 karat gold and our white cell activator. And we're gonna do the same thing. Spread this cell activator out. And then we're gonna start spreading the bloom out with those pretty colors ah, I brought some of the white up don't want to do that Oh, cool, cool. Let's stop right there. I like how it's looking. Let's bring it in. Where'd my towel go? how pretty. I think what I'll do is I'll put one right here. Let's see if we can do this one a little bit different. Um, let's start with Constellation. And the way that glooped up, I'm going to check to make sure we don't have a goober. Where did my, there it is. Don't you hate when you know something's there, but you can't find it? I don't wanna check. Yep, there's one. I thought the way that glooped out of that spoon
Okay, got them all. All right. Constellation. A little bit of sockeye. Uh, a little bit of pinwheel. A little bit of waterfall. And I'm going to just put a tiny tad of Grenache. That's it. And I'm going to put the White Haven. And I think this one will put just a little bit of yellow. And then our or 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 and gold and then we got our white cell activator we can go in and spread it out Start Oh, pretty. Let's see if I can just go out just a little bit further. There we go. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I hope these spin out pretty. I don't think I've done one of these for quite a while. Oh, I got that one. Oh, now let's give her a spin. Spin it slowly. Some of this coming. Give it a little bit harder spin to just kind of get that paint moving over the side. Oh. Oh. How cool. They've lost their shape a little bit, but they still, I don't know, I like it. Let's 
in some places that still need some white paint that roll over the side. How did I miss that? Well, tell me what you think. And I'll see you at dry results. Thank you. Bye-bye. Love you. Hi, everybody. So, let me tell you a little story. I cut the video. I scraped the paint, the baby's butt, the paint, the canvas's butt, and got it all set. Saw a couple goobers, took those out, and I took it over to the drying table and set it up. Then I was gearing up to make another video. And I walked over the, that direction and I saw a place that looked like it had no paint at all. Well, no, it had paint, but it looked like it had stopped at a point and didn't flow on down. So I thought, well, you know me, at least some of you know me, I can't leave well enough alone. So I took one of my little palette knives over and I thought I'll just wipe it downward and smooth it out. Well, I made it worse. <laughs> so I tried to fix that and I made it worse. <laughs> And I tried to fix that, and I made it worse. So I said, oh, hell with it. And I brought it over, and I was going to scrape it and do a take two. Because I kind of had too much paint on there, and I was afraid it was going to dry and crack. And I thought, yeah, I'll just do a take two, and, and I'll do it all over again. I'll scrape it, and, and then I'll have the right amount of paint. I, I've learned that painting is like anything else. If you've been away from it a while, you're out of shape. Uh, it's just like exercising. You know, if you don't exercise for a while, you get out of shape. And needless to say, I'm out of shape. I gotta get back in gear. I gotta get my mojo going and I gotta get things flowing. And Needless to say, I was scraped it. It took the gesso off and everything. So I thought, oh, hell. <laughs> so I cleaned it all off. It's sitting over there trying to dry from where I cleaned it all off. So there is no dry results. I really liked it. It was really pretty. The colors, the way I variated it. It, it just, it was very colorful and I liked it. So I'm going to let that canvas dry again. Um, I think for my gesso, I'm going to use house paint instead of the gesso. I'm just going to put a coat of house paint on it, let it dry, and then we'll do it again. So I've got another canvas to do another video. Um, I'm just a dipshit sometimes, you guys. It's just, it's just the way I am. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thank you, thank you for the thousand subscribers. Please share and get me some watch hours. Go back and watch some of my old videos that you haven't seen yet. Um, they're good. <laughs> and, uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Thanks. Bye-bye.